Hello, dear students. Welcome back. Today, we'll solve a case study question based on the application of derivative maxima and minima. It is in the book of applied mathematics recently published by NCRT for class 12. This is the question. The question is given in a tabular form. It is for commerce. A manufacturing company manufactures toys. The company observed the following cost at different production levels. First is column is number of toys manufactured 100, 150, 200, 250, 300. Cost of raw materials in rupees 800, 400, 1200 for 150, 1600 plus 2 for 200, and 2000 for 250, 2400 for 300. Cost of production supply in rupees is 2000 for your 100 toys, 3000 for 150 toys, 4000 for 200 toys, 5000 for 250 toys, and 6000 for 300 toys. Cost of freight rupees 1000 for 100, 1500 for 150, 2000 for 200, 2500 for 250, and 3000 for 300. And property tax for the business or manufacturer is, is a constant 5000, 5000, 5000, 5000, 5000 for any number of toys. Salaries for people to 20,000, 20,000, 20,000, 20,000, 20,000. Now, after observing this table, now you are given some questions. Five parts questions are there as other question. First is, which of the following is the fixed cost? Option one, number of toys manufactured. 2. Cost of raw material, 3. Cost of production supply, and 4. Is salaries. So, we will go one by one. Toys manufactured, it is it's not fixed cost. Next is cost of raw materials, it is also changing. It is not fixed, it is not same for all the rows. Cost of production supply, it is also not constant. And let us go for the last one. It is salary. So, salary is one. Uh, you can see it is constant. Question number two. Total cost Cx, cost function for toys x unit of the production is Cx is equal to 8x square plus 30x plus 25,000. Cost function is 8x square for 30x plus 20,000. Third is 38x plus 25,000 and 28x plus 25,000. So let us see all the parts, then we'll go one by one. Question number three, if the company observes the price P for unit item, uh, item sold P is equal to 5,000 minus 100X, where X is the number of units sold, then the revenue function Rx is given by, Rx is equal to 5,000X minus 10X square, is 5000 p minus 10 p square then your rx is equal to 5000 minus 10 x square and 5000 minus 10 p square options are there or is the marginal value, revenue marginal revenue of the company is given by 5000 minus 20 x 5000 minus 2 20 p minus 20 x minus 20 Five, if the profit function Px is Rx minus Cx, then it is given by, what will the answer? Part one is minus 18x square plus 4970x minus 25,000. Second option is minus 10x square plus 4962x minus 20,000. Third option is 10x square minus 4962x minus 25,000. And fourth option is minus 10x square plus 4962x minus 25,000. So I'll go one by one. One is clear to everybody because it is very simple. 
which one is fixed cost so salary is the fixed cost do property tax is fixed cost but there in the option there is no property tax so salary is the answer i'll write fourth one is the answer coming to second one second one is total cost function of the toys x unit production is options are they are 8x square plus 30x plus 25000 8x square 30x if you can do yourself you can do you can pause the video you can find the answer yourself and if you are not enable i am there to help you 38x plus 25000 28x plus 25000 so let us see which one will be the answer now just you can see this property tax and salaries it is for all the items it is constant so it will be added so 25000 will be a constant amount which is not not depending on the number of toys okay, so 25000 will be the uh, plus it may be here it may be here it may be here out of this three one may be answer not one this one this is cancel next coming to c cost of raw materials it is your how many times of the number of toys it is eight times so if this is x this is becoming 8x in the same way second one this cost of production supplies let us see how many times it is it is 20 times so this is your 20x if it is number of toys is x then this will be x because we are finding the functions not the constant 100 or 50 now coming to third one it will be 1000 to 100 into 1000 100 into 10 is 1000 so this will be 10x now let us verify for other also so 15 multiplies 8 is your 120 15 multiply 20 is 3000 15 multiply 100 10 is 1500 so on similarly for third one 2 into 8 a 16 2 into 20 40 2 into 10 20 coming to this one so it is applicable for all the lines so we can immediately write this is your 8x second row then 20x then your 10x and last one is 25000 so which one will be the answer answer will be total this makes your 38x so 38x plus 25000 is the cost function So I'll write C X is equal to thirty eight X plus twenty five thirty five thousand. So certainly C will be the answer. Now coming to third one, if the company observes the price P per unit of the item sold, P is equal to five thousand minus ten X, where X is the number of units sold, then the revenue function R X is given by R X is equal to five thousand X minus ten X square five thousand P minus ten P square five thousand minus ten X square five thousand minus ten P square. Which one will be answer? So revenue function is nothing but your selling price. So selling price is equal to your price of each article plus your number of articles. So it will be just P multiplies X. So what is P? P is five thousand. Minus 10x, and I'll multiply number of items is six. So simplify this. How much is the answer? It will be five thousand x minus 10x square. So where is the answer? Certainly, first is the answer. Revenue function is equal to this will be the answer. One is the answer five thousand x minus 10x square. so what is revenue function revenue function is nothing but x into your profit function x into p coming to fourth one the marginal revenue mr is given by e 5000 minus 20x 5000 minus 2p minus 20x minus 20p what is marginal revenue marginal revenue is nothing but your derivative of revenue function with respect to x so we have to write the marginal revenue we have already find out in the last question it was your rx was rx was 5000x minus 10x square 
So I'll differentiate this with respect to your X. This will give you marginal revenue. Marginal revenue is derivative of your derivative of your revenue. So dr to dx is equal to here the derivative will be 5000 x derivative is 1 and x square derivative is 2x so this will be 20x so where is the answer answer is your first is the answer 5000 minus 20x so marginal revenue mr is equal to derivative of revenue last question if the profit function px Profit function Px is equal to revenue function minus your cost function. Cx is cost function. Function given by e. So options are minus 18x square plus 474970x minus 25,000 minus 10x square plus 4962x minus 20,000 10x square plus 4962x minus 25,000 minus 10x square plus 4962x minus 25,000. Thousand. So for this, I need C Rx and Cx. Rx we have already found out, and Cx is also we have find out in the first part. So Rx here, Rx I have written Rx, and this is your Cx. So Rx minus Cx is equal to how much? It will be five thousand x minus ten x square minus. 38x plus 25,000. So it will be minus 10x square. Now 5,000 minus 38. It will be 49 and it will be positive plus 4962x and 25,000 will be negative minus 25,000. So all the answers are similar, but you have to see carefully which one is the sign you have to, you should not ignore. So fourth one is the answer. So we have finished five parts. I hope you have enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing my channel. So again, we'll meet with another video. Thank you.